The Essex Dog Training Centre was the venue for a new event in order to raise awareness and funds for a much-loved local charity. Here at the Essex Dog Training Centre, the Helen Rollison Cancer Charity is hosting their first family fun dog show. Helen Rollison was, uh, I suppose nowadays, People don't know the show Grandstand, but Helen in her time was the first female BBC sports presenter. She was the flagship of the BBC Grandstand show, which was a Saturday afternoon magazine programme all about sport. This former BBC sports presenter lived in Brentwood. What we're having today for visitors to see, obviously we've got a range of stalls, we've got everything for dogs, we've got lots of fun things, we've got lovely food, but most importantly we've got an opportunity for them to take part in fun dog shows. So we've got a waggy's tail, we've got most different pair, most handsome puppy, and then obviously at the end of the day we've got the climax with the best in show. Like all charities, funding is always an issue, and events like this today provides an opportunity to have fun and raise that all-important cash. The Helen Rollison Cancer Charity receives no government funding, so that means at the beginning of every year we've got a blank sheet. We have to raise £800,000 a year in order to keep our services going, so events like this are really important to us because we rely on the support of community and corporates in order to keep supporting people living with cancer. There were also plenty of stalls selling a variety of goods to tempt customers. Despite the disappointing weather, the event brought together many dog owners from Brentwood and beyond, with the canine stars all putting their best paw forward in front of the judges. The highlight of the day for dog owners was the Best in Show event, judged by Lord Peter, former Lord Lieutenant of Essex, along with Roy Dyer MBE, leader of the world famous Essex Dog Display Team. The wet weather at least attracted a singing mermaid in the shape of Samantha Perry from Prettiest Parties. Helen's legacy is amazing. Her legacy was that people living with cancer should have a quality of life and that's what we do for her. This year it's actually 20 years since Helen lost her battle with cancer but again the fact that we now have five different support centres um, around the area actually shows that her legacy is continuing which is very important to us. This event was a first for the Helen Rollison Cancer Charity and it's hoped that it's one that will be repeated. The kindness of the Essex Dog Training Centre and Roy Dyer MBE has been overwhelming and again the feedback that we've had on, from today, the number of people who've turned up, the weather hasn't been great but again people have supported us, they've kept on smiling and it's been a really lovely atmosphere.